Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry, I'm doing this a little bit more quietly because people are asleep right now. But it's my first chance to finally open the Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer. I received this probably two and a half weeks ago and I have not had a chance to open the box yet. Um, when it comes in the mail, these come in a plastic, like black plastic wrapper with the shipping label and everything. I took that off uh, just to be sure of what was inside. And this is what comes in the plastic wrap. Um, here's the box. It's got a little handle on the top. They've got a honeycomb pattern. Um, and I have not opened this at all. So we are doing this for the first time together. We're going to check the contents. All right, around right the top of the box here, we get this congratulations letter. I'll let you read all that. Packing material. Okay, so just inside here, we've got... A, a, an actual kind of like a little book 3d printing handbook invoice thing which we will stick down here nobody needs to see that uh, assembly instructions which, look at look at this book look how thick that is so we'll, we'll get into that momentarily so in this video I'm just gonna unbox this I may Attach this to another video. This is two Y axis. Please use a little, little chunk of aluminum. Glad I didn't just drop that on the table. That would be bad. We'll take take the boxes out and then open everything inside here. Uh, more packing. A power cable. A bag of gummy bears. Looks like the power supply box, which this end here is all 3D printed. Seems like a decent print. That's good. So power supply. Um, some other box here. I don't know what's in here. We'll set this down. Another box. Another box, which, whoa, they gave me a whole bunch of filament, so that's cool. Um, another big box, which I'm assuming is probably the build platform. Another box, which is the motor kit. And a tube which I believe are probably the screw rods and the extrusions for the Z-axis. And then that is all. The box is empty. So, let's see, where should we start here? I'm gonna pop open this big guy here. So, Take the heat bed and a steel sheet, which I'll take that out in a second. Let me see these nice, feels like aluminum, I think aluminum bed mounts, and uh, the vertical frame, I believe, all metal. Get this off the side. So a bunch of metal pieces here, which I will set aside for the moment. And I'll set them up here, that's fine. The motor kit. Should be a bunch of very nicely packed uh, stepper motors. And in there, here are the Z-axis rods, the threaded rods that actually are here. So we've got two motors for the Z-axis. Um, in 
an extruder motor, uh, X and Y, in some order there. I don't know if it matters the way they're set up. Uh, the box, I don't know what box this is. These two look the same. We have bags of 3D printed pieces to make up the printer. This is the Y axis parts. Also Y axis pieces. Z axis. LCD, which is the little screen on the front. Uh, e axis, this is a uh, look at the extruder bits. ELE, it looks like some vents, probably for the electronics. Uh, what is this? This is the filament holder. That's all that's in the first box. And then we've got the second box here. Uh, stick of, of glue. Which is all, it's, uh, they make these in in uh, the Czech Republic, so it's in a foreign language, which is interesting. USB cable. Uh, what the hell we have here? We have the extruder parts and some metal bushings or something. I'm not exactly sure what, and even more of those metal bushings in here. Bunch of pieces to build the frame. Hardware. More hardware. More hardware. This is the one of the belts, maybe both the belts. More hardware. Tools. Comes with a tool kit, which is highly convenient. Uh, the LCD screen. Couple small boxes within this box. This is looks like the main board, the computer that controls everything. Set that here. Second one here, which is the um, extruder tip in the heating element. Uh, one of the fans for these, both of the fans for the extruder, and uh, the bed sensor. So that's there what we have here alcohol prep and a tiny little needle which is probably to help clear clogs and then some kind of piece of plastic i don't know what this is for I guess we'll find out this might be uh something that you hook on to maybe give some kind of like strain relief to the cables i don't know yet find out it's probably something more exciting than that um what am i missing here so we looked in all these boxes yeah main board and this i believe is filament which is cool one kilo of silver filament which is really good because i just bought four more spools of filament Ugh. So yeah, I've got a whole roll of filament with it too, which is very nice. I didn't didn't expect that. I'm sure it said it somewhere, but uh, didn't know it was going to come with that. So that's good. So these are these are the the guide rods for probably the uh, Z and X axis. So. Uh, you're doing it new to 3D printing and you're trying to figure out this axis. The Z is the vertical, X goes across, and Y goes toward and away from yourself. If you're looking at your printer, the Y axis is going toward and away, X is going across, Z is going up and down. So uh, there's probably some good way to remember that. Think of uh, X as an across, like like a railroad crossing, and then I always think of Y as, as to to you like it's, it's going to you that way y-axis and then z is just the other one so that's that's the easiest way to remember it so anyway i think i'm going to
stop this video now that I have a big pile of stuff on the table and look through the instructions a little bit and then I'm going to do uh, a video I'm going to start just building this thing and there's a lot of pieces here so it might be a long video but uh, I figure I'll break it up in this section so uh, alright we'll be back <laughs> So the assembly is complete, all the testing is done, and I have printed my first print on the Prusa i3 Mark III. Now, if this goes correctly, it should, I just flex this and then just like magic, it just lifts right off the print bed, which is very, very convenient. This is held down by magnets, sticks really good. Um, Notice there are no springs underneath. Nice. Let's see if I can get that fixed. There are no springs underneath the table or the uh, the build platform. It auto levels uh, digitally, I guess. It just goes through and does all of these calibrations, and then uh, you tweak it uh, in digitally. You don't have to go in and adjust springs and settings. You just tell it where you want it to go. It gets to the right print height and it just remembers it and everything prints really nice now i'll just have to clean some supports off this it's a little triceratops model that comes with the printer it took about about five hours i don't know how the support material will come off i'm about to save this for another thing but uh uh overall i think this print looks really nice but i'm going to run a bunch more things on it and i'll give it a proper review soon but anyway, here it is. The build um, wasn't hard to do, but it took a long time because there's lots and lots of stuff. Like pretty much everything you see had to be assembled. So if you saw the time lapse here, you can see that a lot of steps took me almost five hours probably to put it all together. Um, but the instructions were very clear and I didn't have, I think maybe one or two spots where it was a little tricky, but you can go on the website and look at images up close like you can zoom in on the images and the instructions if you can't see what's going on I didn't have to do that I was able to figure it out but um, overall really straightforward build however it was long so it's unlike the CR10 or the ANET like the other printer I've got set up which you can basically from taking on the box you could have it set up in 15 minutes this was not like that this was a lot of work uh, one good thing about doing that though is that you learn so much about how the printer works and how to troubleshoot it and if you have to troubleshoot it you have literally put every piece on the printer so you know how to take it apart um, and then it also gives you ideas for engineering other things because they'll do some creative little things with like zip ties or the way pieces pivot or hinges work uh, some really neat design things elements in here that uh, are pretty inspiring so anyway that was the first look at the Prusa i3 Mark III I will be running many more tests like I said and I'll be back more be back more I'll be back again with uh, a, a real review in I don't know a month or so see you guys soon later bye I'm back just wanted to show this little 
Triceratops head up close. I pulled the supports off. They came off very easily. And I think overall this thing printed really nice. Underside, this is all full of supports. And there's hardly anything to clean up there. Did a fantastic job. So, cool. Looking forward to printing more good stuff. Thanks again, guys. See you soon. Later.